Framed by the azure seas and the beautiful sun-filled skies, the Plage de Pampelone on the outskirts of Saint-Tropez-Ramatuel plays host to the 17th leg of Longines Global Champions Tour action, a playground of the rich and famous and a hotspot on the jet set circuit. Well, after Rome just one week ago, Ben Mayer of Great Britain remains the Longines Global Champions Tour Series leader, but it's very close behind to Peter Devos. Daniel Deusser knocking on the door of a fantastic finish as well. Kevin Stout, Michael van der Vleuten and Marcus Aining make up our top six. A field of the world's very best horses and riders lined out for the Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix first round set by Uliana Vetsani. Let's see how it broke down. The very first in the ring in our Grand Prix is the longtime leader of the 2019 series, Peter Devos of Belgium with Claire Z. And he absolutely set the standard, a course that a lot of people thought was very difficult. He makes look very simple. Oh, what a jump it is. And he puts himself in the hunt, 76-65, Peter Devos. The winner of our new Grand Prix this summer in Stockholm, Sweden's Peter Fredriksson wouldn't be joining the jump off field here in Saint-Tropez with Sacramento as they had the very first fence down. Hoping to move up the rankings here in Saint-Tropez, Daniel Deusser of Germany and Scuderia 1918 Tobago Z. For them, it was two fences down on course, fence three and fence seven for a total of eight, leaving them well down the order. After the initial course walk, it's a surprise to many that 14 are going to make it through to the jump off, including the likes of Peter Devos, Henrik von Eckermann, Kevin Stout, Carlos Lopez, who was runner up here last year. Let's have a look at how our jump off played out here at Ramatuel Saint Tropez. The very first in the ring, Peter Devos, and the pressure was on because first or second place today could propel him to the head of the standings. Any lower down the order, Ben Mayer would remain the leader. And Peter jumped so fast, fluid and forward, all the way around the course, clear in 36-4-0, and he'd made a real target for the others to beat. Next to go, Dutch Olympian Mark Houtsager and Sterehoff's Dante. The Dutchman is clear all the way around, but not quite on the pace of Peter Devos. 37-3-0 sees him go into an early second place. Dos Valois of Belgium and Igor. Again, a really solid round from this pair, showing their consistency at the level. Clear, but 37-36 puts them into third place. Then it was the turn of the French hope, Simon de Lest, and it looked like he might just be able to snatch victory, but on 36-88, he's still slower than Peter Devos. Swedish championship medalist Henrik von Eckermann and best boy. They came in and jumped clear. This just 11-year-old horse, Henrik maybe didn't have the taps all the way open. He scores a 37-92 and goes down the leaderboard. The Colombian Olympian Carlos Lopez was the runner-up here last year with Admara that secured him his golden ticket to the playoffs in Prague. This year he rides Ulan de Conde and of course very, very fast. He's clear, 37.02, still not enough to catch Peter Devos. It's been an exceptional weekend for Eric van der Vleuten. Could he make it count here in the jump off of the Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix? The Dutch championship rider and Wunschkin 19 were the latest to steer their way clear all the way around Uliana Vetsani's jump off track. But 37.62 is still a little bit too far off the pace for a podium. Next up, Jessica Springsteen and RMF Cecily. If she can get a good run round here and keep going, she's going to be close. Once Coming again. on the seven, this is fast, this really is fast. fast. She is so fast, she is determined, and she goes all the way in 35-38, and that goes into the lead for the United States of America. One remaining challenger to Jessica Springsteen, and we were guaranteed a US win. But it's a super dangerous final rider when it comes to speed against the clock. Kent Farrington and Austria, a horse that jumped very well for him at our Berlin show. He storms around the track, he's very close to the time, but he has the last down, four fourths in 35-88. Sees Kent Farrington finish down the order, and the win goes to Jessica Springsteen and RMF Zessel. And thus our podium here in the Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix of Ramatuel Saint-Tropez features Simon Deleuze of France in third, Peter Devos of Belgium with Claire Z in second, and Jessica Springsteen of the United States of America with Rushy Marsh Farms, RMF Zessely are our winners. An historic victory in her career, her first five-star and her first launching Global Champions to a Grand Prix victory. Let's hear from Jessica Springsteen. That's probably the biggest win of your career. A hundred percent. I'm still in shock, I think. <laughs> she jumped so amazing and uh, I'm so happy. I can't believe it.
Now, we were just looking down there. It looked like it was the turn into the double that made the difference for you. What did you make of it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I didn't get the right jump at one that I wanted, and then I just kind of set off, and I stayed on that rhythm, and she was just right there with me every step, so it really worked out. Celebrations to come. Well done today, Jessica. Thank you. A real thriller of a jump off, and uh, let's see how it played out. Cecily just doing a few droppings, is taking off, and that probably cost her maybe a little bit, but she's just nudging in front at that point. Peter, first to go, did what he had to do. Not much in it at that point. Cecily accelerating, and maybe more of an angle there, just landing ahead. And that was it, really. And she knew she's on the fastest horse, and... Uh, Players had maybe got a little bit back, but there we are, almost a second faster, 35, 38, as opposed to 36, 40. And so with the points taken here today, Peter Devos of Belgium moves back into the Longines Global Champions to a series lead, one point in front of Ben Mayer. Daniel Deusser stays in third, Kevin Stout is fourth, Michael van der Vleuten fifth, and Marcus Aining remains our sixth place contender. It's all to play for as the series moves on to Governors Island in New York in just 10 days time. What a weekend of sport it's been here on the shores of the Mediterranean and now the series leaves Europe for 2019 and heads to the destination of our championship finals, Governors Island, New York.